Now, what can you say about this uh, recent uh, uh, military takeovers in the continent? Uh, we know something uh, must have sparked this uh, spate of uh, uh, coups that have happened recently in the continent because uh, there was a period when we, uh, when you hear of a coup in Africa, it was not uh, uh, so, uh, so, so, so surprising. But recently, something that had cooled down for a while, it suddenly uh, came up again. What can explain this phenomenon? Uh, Laurentia, uh, for the sake of your audience, uh, I want us to, you know, you started talking about Chad and you now went to some of these other countries. For the sake of the audience and for education of the public and also a vivid discussion, I want us to look at the trend of what's happening in Africa because all these analyses that you've done and the reporters that have done that, you will see a trend in what's happening. It is not that Africans prefer one form of government to the other. What the people are asking for is a government that represents their aspiration. It doesn't matter if it's a military junta or it's a civilian government. What the people are asking for is a government that represents their aspiration, what they want. A government that is out to look for their interests not a government that's installed there by some foreign powers mm. that is trying to, you know, foster or bring to, uh, to the front the agenda of some foreign powers. That's what's happening. If you start with Chad, that you start, uh, that's currently going on a uh, boiling and all what not that's going boiling, you will see that the people are not just protesting because of the presence of the junta. If you follow the analysis and follow people that are talking and look at the case and the history of Chad, you'll find out that the people are angry at French manipulation. Yes. They are angry at French yes. influence in their governance. That is where the problem is. It's not whether it is a junta or it's a civilian run. That's not where their problem is. It is because the French are constantly manipulating the government in charge and the people want to take their country back. You can put it that way. The people simply want their country back so that they can have an influence. Because if you look at the transition, the son of Idris D.B. said that it was going to be a two-year transition, and the people were patient. They said, okay, your father has died. You took over power. Let's go in for a two-year transition. After the two-year transition, what happens? They have now extended mm -hmm. into another two years. And given the uh, uh, the son of Idris Didi, the, the chance to run, which is automatically, we know what happens in Africa, automatically saying that he's going to be the next president in that two years, because there's no way that some other person is going to win when the military is in charge of everything. So people come up and they are saying, hey, no, this is not what we want. This is a foreign power manipulating our country, controlling our country, and we are tired with it. So... If the junta was there and is serving the interests of the people, I don't think you're going to see what you see in the streets. Mm. So people are angry with the manipulation of their government by a foreign power. The it is the before you die. If you watch the, the, that he said, he wanted to relinquish power. He did not want to continue ruling. But France, he explicitly called the name. It wasn't something that people were doubting. He said, the French came in and said, he cannot resign now because they don't have any person to replace with him. So he had to do what? The French, when he changed the constitution to run again, we do not find the French who are supposed to be custodian or democracy as they make the, uh, the whole world to understand that they are a democratic country and they're trying to institute democracy in Africa. We did not find the French against what he was trying to do. So he said they wanted him to pay, so he was there. Now we find the French, just to tell the contradictions in the French policy in Africa and all over the world. We have the French that are against the junta in Mali. They say the junta extended its power. But the same France has instilled the son of uh, Idris Deby as a junta, and they have no problem with that. And it was a, an eyesore to see the current French president, who is supposed to be a Democrat, go and stand hand in hand 
with a military ruler to install the son of it is to be. That was a public outcry, even to any person who seems to understand the semblance or the tenets of democracy in the world, to see a democratically elected president go and install a, uh, a, a general as the head of state of a country in Africa, standing hand in hand, taking pictures, and then condemning, condemning you know, another junta in a different country. That tells you that when you see rioting like this, Africans are tired of being manipulated by the West. It is not the form of democracy that matters here, Lawrence. And let's be very clear, because we've seen elsewhere, just as you mentioned, in Mali, we find the population is behind the military junta. Why? Because they believe that is the junta, that is, you know, the government that represents their aspiration. Not some form. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Elijah. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, if you're just joining us, this is Views Forum on the Continent. And that is the same junta. Carry on. Carry on, Mr. Elijah. Okay. Let's go go to Burkina Faso Because I wanted to set a trend so that people see what the trend is. And to make this conclusion that people are not protesting against the kind of government they're but protesting against western manipulation okay. puppet leaders that are being installed and forced down their throat you go to burkina faso when uh, uh gamiba took over power everybody was jubilating in 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 a burkina faso because they thought this guy has come up to power mm -hmm. and he's going to you know channel the aspiration against what um uh, blessed compare had did but they realized that the same bamiba who came out from the parliamentary group that supported Blaise Campare, went and took Blaise Campare, because you need to understand something. In Burkina Faso, there is a split within the military. Mm. You have a, a, a faction that supports, you know, that was created by Blaise Campare when he killed uh, uh, Thomas Sankara. Sankara. It's like what we call in Cameroon uh, the, the, uh, the presidential guy. It wasn't there before. So he created it because of the fear that the military were going to take over from him. So when he created that unit, that unit was the unit that was supporting him all along. So Damiba came from that unit. So in order, you know, when they overthrew Blaise Campare, in order to, you know, uh, make those units, uh, those people happy, he decided to go and bring back Campare with the influence of France, because France is the people that eliminated Thomas Sankara. When he brought him back, people knew where he was going. They knew that there is some foreign influence that has come in and is manipulating their country. So when this Abraham Traoré took over, you can see the jubilation in the country. Mm. You can see the people are behind him and they're giving him their support. The trend continues. If you go to Mali, it's the same thing. The junta there, people are giving them their support because they believe that that is the junta that represents them. The case of Sudan is different. A little bit different because this is a junta that has accepted a, a power sharing government, but there are reports, legitimate reports that we get, that there is still some foreign influence that is behind it. Again, the people are asking, is this the government that represents us or the government that represents foreign interests? That is where the problem is in Africa. As long as this government do not represent the people, you are going to find these you know, uprising all over the place. Mm. You're going to find all this unfortunate situation where we are talking about almost 100 people dead in Chad as we speak. And this is a country that is rich in oil, rich in other minerals, but they are in abject poverty. poverty. Why? Because you have a few people that are ruling, not for the interest of the common man, but for the interest of somebody, not even in Africa, a foreign power manipulating. That is what this is all about. People are angry because their government, whether it is military or civilian, does not represent the aspiration of the people. That is where the trend is, and that's where the problem is. Afrique Media. Le monde, c'est nous.